Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to talk about space now. Oh, yeah, let's. Do you want to do this? Yes, it's an amazing story. Uh, for a story that is out of this world, an eight-year-old girl from Kent has had a chat using amateur radio equipment with Kiel uh, Lindgren, an astronaut on board the International Space Station. November Alpha 1, Sierra, Sierra, Mike 0, Lima, Mike Kilo. Mike 0, Lima, Mike Call sign, say again for any one SS. Mike Zero, Lima, Mike Kilo. Mike Zero, Lima, Mike Kilo. This is any one SS. Welcome to the International Space Station. November Alpha One, Sierra, Sierra. Mike Zero, Lima, Mike Kilo. My name is Isabella. I'm eight years old. You're five or nine. Thank you. <laughs> Mike Zero, Lima, Mike Kilo. This is November Alpha One, Sierra, Sierra. Isabella, it's uh, so great to chat with you. Thank you for getting on the radio and saying hello. Thank you, fly, fly safe. Thank you, Isabella. Seven threes. Oh, my God. How amazing is that? Uh, Isabella, Isabella Payne, uh, was with her dad, Matthew, who is a licence holding amateur radio enthusiast and tutor. Delighted to say Isabella and Matthew join us now. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Isabella, how exciting was that? Talk us through how it happened. Well, what happened? Um. <laughs> so what, what happened? You were, we were listening for the space station, weren't we? Yeah. We were, and and it was getting quite late, so um, I thought maybe I should go to bed and have another try tomorrow, but um, I think it was thirty seconds after I was awake, and the space station called. That is incredible, Matthew. So talk us through it. You've got amateur radio equipment, as has. Um, Kel Lindgren on the International Space Station. So when did you think, you know, we, we could do something here? All oh, right, yeah, that's correct. So I'm a I'm an amateur radio operator. I've been uh, in the hobby for around 20 odd years. And um, it's unusual for uh, the space station and the astronauts on board the space station to have these kind of casual contacts with us down here on Earth. But there is equipment on the space station and the astronauts are trained to use it and have their own call signs. So it was a very specific set of circumstances where um, the astronaut was willing to use that equipment in their free time because they don't use it during their kind of working day while they're got their kind of scheduled tasks to do um the space station has to be passing kind of overhead within line of sight of us as well and it has to be at the right time for them to actually use that gear at the end of the day as well so it's quite a specific set of circumstances uh we knew that he was using the equipment through the various networks and communities that i'm part of we knew that he was a, a keen operator and using that so we were listening for around three weeks um and eventually we just heard him call on the radio so uh, so i woke isabella up and uh, put the microphone in front of her and off she went Oh my goodness! So you had to, you got woken up because it was going over at that exact moment. You just dropped off to sleep, Isabella. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it was better. worth it was worth waking up for. I'll bet. I mean, Matthew, could you believe it when when she started having this conversation? I must say, I was a little bit jealous, um, <laughs> and, uh, but but also really proud to see her just handling the conversation and, and the microphone and saying all the right words in the right order using her phonetic alphabet. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Isabella, you you know all the call signs, don't you? Can you can you talk us through some of what you've learnt? So my dad's call sign is Mike Zero Lima Mike Kilo, and then the astronaut that I've talked to is November Alpha One Sierra Sierra. That's brilliant. So that's how you you know you get it across. You know the letters that you're saying they've all got a kind of word attached to them, haven't they? So you're very yeah. very clear on that and i love the way you signed off what did you say seven three and fly and fly safe oh where did you learn that uh, i have no idea okay. oh, we watch a man on youtube don't we who signs off the same way so yeah it's just a nice way to finish it off because they're flying yeah. above us aren't they oh it's a lovely way to finish it off can you believe that you were talking to somebody who is orbiting the earth in a space no. station. I know. <laughs> it's one of those things where you just go, even when I think about that, that's quite a big deal. What did everybody at school think? That I'm bonkers. You're bonkers. 
but you've spoken yeah. to someone in space, so I'd take bonkers. Oh. <laughs> Which they're probably right, because I'm bonkers all the time. Are you? Listen, oh, yeah. so the thing is now, though, you've spoken to someone in space. Who Who's your next target? Who would you like to speak to next? I have no idea. Could be anybody around My... the world. Matthew, who do you normally talk to? Uh, so the great thing about amateur radio, it's such a diverse hobby. Uh, you can talk to somebody in the next town or you can talk to somebody on the other side of the world or on this occasion, you know, you can talk to someone that's off the world. Um, so really, you can you can kind of uh, talk to anyone you want to. Who, any any licensed amateur radio holder, there's about three and a half million of us in the world. Uh, you can just kind of have a lovely chat. So like I say, one, one minute you're talking to your friend in the next town, the next minute you're talking about something that's happening in Australia or New Zealand or Japan or China. So it really is a, a really interesting hobby. Isabella, you're going to be bonkers and famous, aren't you? Because I understand NASA want to use that recording and your photo on their website and media channels. How do you feel about that? Uh... Well, everyone will know your name. What do you think, Matthew? Uh, yeah, I think it's really good. And it's all been Isabella's decision. She's given the OK to use all the yep. photos and all the images and everything. And uh, there's a reason why you're so keen to publicise it, isn't there, Isabella? What's the reason you're so keen for everyone to see you using the radio and speaking to the astronaut? I want to inspire other little girls like me because it's very hard to get space clothing that is in the girls' section. Do you know what? You're so right because space suits were designed for, for men, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's... And and you can buy lots of boys' clothes with pictures of rockets on them and you know, science and engineering and that kind of things. But but girls' clothes seem to be there seem to be a lot of rainbows and unicorns, don't there? Not a lot of science and space related things. And we'd like to we'd like to help people change that and know that girls can do science too, can't they? Well, listen, Isabella, if anyone can change it, you can. You've spoken to a man in space. Lovely to talk to both of you. Thank you very much. Bye, Isabella. Bye. Isabella Payne there and her dad, Matthew, who've uh, checked in with the International Space Station. Amazing. Yeah, very good stuff. Right, quick check.